Greetings! Uh, so, something happened. Today we went and bought a copy of Shadespire and now it's time to finally open the box and see what's in the box and discuss the whole quality of the thing. So, without further ado, there's the box. First of all, we need to get the plastic bits off it. Just turn it around. Grab the knife. Oops. This is really hard to actually handle the camera and do stuff with your hands at the same time. So, oh, love the sound. The sound of a new game being opened. So, the box itself is fairly sturdy. There's a lot of weight to it actually, more than I expected. So, opening a box with one hand is not as easy as some of these unboxing videos makes it look. Eee. Hmm. So, first minus, it's not easy to open with one hand, but let's see what's in it. Well. There's a lot of cardboard here. We have the the rule book, which is actually I still cover in also individually packed, but let's start looking at the minis. So for the board gaming audience who have no intention of ever painting any of this, they are in red and blue plastic, which I, which actually makes it very usable straight out of the box. Uh, of course, they still need to assemble the minis, but I think most people should be able to do that. They seem to be fairly easy. Um, plastic itself seems to be same quality as normal Games Workshop products, which was completely expected. We have the base, nothing special there, um, fairly rounded dice, um, which means that they will have a tendency to keep rolling, fall on the floor, um, because of the very rounded corners on them. I don't know uh, about that, but let's see, we have a little booklet here which is uh, that's just okay now you bought cheek fire oh please buy our age of sigmar game as well so ooh nice they actually bought these some of these plastic things bags that can that sealable bunch actually a bunch of those that's nice those are always usable in your games so rule book which we need to open up somehow as well. So, let me just try and do that. But I'll just turn off the camera because I need two hands for this. Okay, so the rule book package. Um, I am not too impressed with the quality here. Uh, the rule book itself is very, very soft. Uh, it is even less durable than a White Wolf magazine. Um, it is probably not gonna uh, survive a lot of usage uh, does have a bit of quite a bit of fluff in it uh, which is nice um, yeah. luckily I think the rules are so easy for this game that you won't need to read through the rule book too often but the quality of the paper is not too great. Uh, also, binding, there's basically no binding on it. It's just, uh, what do you call them? Paper clamps. Yep, so, not too impressed with that. And then we have a quick start sheet, which is by now a pretty standard thing for all GW products. That's nice. Now we have a 
piece of cardboard telling me how to assemble the minis and this is actually way better paper quality than the actual rule book that's a bit odd choice but yeah there you go so the cards look decent quality uh, normal playing cards I think slightly different size than normal playing cards they are a bit shorter on the long edge but um which means they maybe they won't fit into standard card sleeves but other than that looks pretty good let me just get one of these open so i can actually feel the cards can't do that with one hand either i'll just turn off the camera again okay so the cards themselves um these are seem to me to be fairly standard quality playing card not really good um quality uh, which would have been nice in a game where the cards are going to see so much usage i think they could have upped them quite a bit they have a raw edge um which means they will be very accessible to any spilled drinks um, so don't get these cards wet they will dissolve um, but but that's fairly normal for most cards um, for most games but um, these could have been much better quality um, than they are so nah, not too impressed by that now the cardboard I'll reopen that pack eh, learning from my mistakes now the cardboard tokens just pop one out and um, again fairly decent quality uh, with the print and back to the this is a bit of a flashback to like the original Space Hulk and stuff like that with the cardboard uh, pieces there. They are very susceptible to wear and tear and especially liquids because they have, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a raw paper edge on them. Um, and that does soak up stuff. So the durability of the game is not too high a standard um, on all the tokens and stuff like that but the actual playing mats here are actually quite high quality very durable um, they do have come with the bend here of course which is always a weak part instead of having a whole like this they do bend in the middle and that's good for storage but not good for the durability but other than that they have very nice coated edges and they're quite sturdy and um, they're actually very hard to bend in any way so I have a feeling they are going to stay in shape for years and years and throughout lots of use so that's very nice very nice quality on the gaming boards themselves cardboard tokens could have been better uh, but not horrible quality uh, just uh, they are you need to take care of these otherwise they are going to fall apart at some point playing cards I say you need sleeves for these otherwise they're just gonna fall apart at some point and yeah any kind of damage anything that's even remotely dangerous to playing cards will destroy these cards completely so sleeves are a must-have for the playing cards and they did not include any card sleeves in the box I think they should have done that but other than that but it is a fairly standard quality playing cards maybe slightly on the cheap side um, 
not too impressive with that. Dice themselves, uh, yeah, well, they are dice. They have prints on them. They do have the very rounded edges, so dice trays are a good idea. These are the kind of dice who will keep rolling until they roll off the table. So, use a dice tray, but you should do that anyway. So, that's good enough. And of course, don't know if there are any balance and how good they are yet. We need to play quite a few games before we have any idea about that. Uh, rule book itself, again, not too impressive quality um, of the paper. Uh, as I said before, uh, White Wolf magazine actually is more durable than this. Um, so. Again, not too impressed. Still, uh, beautiful artwork, uh, beautiful prints, uh, as always with games uh, uh, with DW, and they do know uh, how to set up a page, uh, make it very visually pleasing, uh, and I wouldn't expect anything less from them. I would have expected some better paper quality and definitely a better binding uh, of the rule book itself. This is going to fall apart way too easy. <coughs> Luckily, uh, as I said before, probably won't be needing the rule book too often, but they did include these sealable plastic bags. As any board gamer knows, you need these. These are, I mean, even if you don't need them for shade wire, you need them for games in general, and it's always nice to have some. And since I actually included these, why didn't they include some sleeves for the cards? That would have been nice. Minis themselves, well, it's game, uh, Games Workshop, they do beautiful plastic sculpts, and then your series, of course, it's uh, Monopose, but um, other than that, it's Brilliant as always. Um, this time they have like textured bases with all kinds of things happening on them. Uh, lots of skulls, obviously, um, and pre-drilled holes for the feet. Mm, I think that they do. Like these bases were made for the <coughs> the board gamers and not the normal miniature war gamers but um but of course a miniature war gamer might actually instead if they really want to have their shade spy models look really nice I'll of course use some other models uh, to personalize stuff that they can convert and make their very own team. So this is gonna be very appealing to the amateur miniature handler so I think that's a good choice um, for the production and as always very high quality minis. So all in all, oh one final thing, the box itself actually is a pretty good good box insert here, uh, keep things tidy. That's going to work out very well, especially if you want to keep your plastic minis in here. Uh, I think that's going to work out uh, very good once they're Put to, have been put together so that's gonna be good and the playing surface, is, uh, surface itself is very high quality um, this is like same standard as like the very best uh, and most expensive board games out there so very good uh, on that so kind of mixed uh, on all, all some really high quality and some areas where they I think they have been a bit on the cheap side uh, quality wise but um, it's a game you need to look after the pieces for uh, especially I mean the cards you can put in sleeves that's easy to get uh, to look after these the playing surface itself is going to last you uh, for years and years these cardboard tokens are the weakest link um, yeah 
you definitely need the sealable plastic bags for these uh, to keep them stored and you gotta be careful when using them do not have any beverages near uh, your playing surface because any kind of liquid is gonna eat these up very quickly also wear and tear is gonna at some point uh, make them start falling apart but I think that's about but it's about as much as you could expect uh, was hoping for slightly higher quality but um it's good so all, in all that was the shades by a box now it's time to let Aaron do some painting uh, get the minis up to speed and we can start playing finally all the hype is still going on so see you a bit later once we're playing bye